Hello, and welcome to the Northview Leadership Academy Values Identification Seminar Makeup Video. Before you begin, you need to have completed the first five bullet points on the Values Identification Sheet. If you have not done so, pause this video and locate the document in your Phases document page on the Northview Leadership Academy website. If you do not know what the web address is, go to www.sylvaniaNorthview.org and look for the site under the Student tab. Now that you have located your Values Identification Sheet, you need to print off the sheet for this webinar, titled Values Identification Makeup Webinar, also located in your Phases document page on the Northview Leadership Academy website. This sheet will help you follow along with the discussion and must be completed and placed in your Leadership Academy binder. <coughs> values and Principles. Here we go. Where have you heard these words, values and principles, before this webinar? At this point, pause the video and answer number one on your webinar makeup sheet. At this time, can you think of any additional principles and values to add to the list that you started on your values identification sheet that you prepared for today? Pause the video and complete number two on the makeup sheet. How about this list? Are there any here that you did not have on your list? At this time, answer number three on your makeup video, your makeup sheet. Now, I'm going to play two videos for you. As you watch these videos, answer numbers four and five on your makeup sheet. Which values and principles do you see at work in these two video clips? When I close my eyes, I see the way this world shall be. With the old in it. When the last child cries for a crust of bread, when the last man dies for just words that he sings, when they're sheltered over the forest hay, we shall be free. We shall be free. We shall be free. I stand straight. Have a little bit. We shall be free. We shall be free. We have to plan to bring you a story tonight about a kind of prep school that prepares football players for the NFL draft and big contracts. But we're going to call an audible. We're going to switch sports tonight because we've run across an absolutely amazing basketball player that we want you to see. Here's Steve Hartman. Grace Athena High School in Rochester, New York has a new most unlikely hero, a special ed student by the name of Jason McElwing. Here we go. Jason is the basketball team manager. For the past couple of years, he's been assisting coach Jim Johnson, helping with right. whatever the team Ready needs. And go! Get him motivated and uh, hand out water and just be enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, to say the least. Despite being born with autism, Jason's father says his son has never had a problem expressing himself at basketball games. You know, I was always concerned that he might get a technical when they lose a game because he, you know, started yelling or whatever. Let's have a hard practice tomorrow. All hour and a half, and let's get ready for Kenny. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, two. Because he has been so devoted to the team. For the last game of the season, Coach Johnson decided to let Jason actually suit up. Not to play necessarily, just to let him feel what it's like to wear a jersey. At least that was the plan. But with four minutes to go in last week's game, Coach Johnson stood up and pointed at number 52, Jason McElroy. After years of fetching water and toweling off other people's sweat, Jason was actually in a game. His first shot was a 20-footer from the right baseline. 
Was it close? Did you almost make I just, it? I just airballed it. <laughs> I'm like, just, dear God, please, let's just get in the basket. His second shot missed, too, but the third was a chunk. A three-point no-doubter. Jason wasn't done yet. Not by a long shot. If I wasn't there to witness it, I wouldn't have witnessed it. You, know? you caught fire. I just caught fire. I was hot as a pistol. Jason ended up shooting six three-pointers. One right after the other. He had 20 points total. And each time a shot went in, his teammates and the crowd went a little crazy. His last basket, right at the buzzer, created total fame. Because he is autistic, Jason says he's used to feeling different, but never this different. Never this wonderful. Steve Hartman, CBS News, Rochester, New York. So, of your list of values and principles, and those that we shared with you, which do you think are the most important? Hold that thought for now, but when you are finished with this video, record your answers on your original values identification sheet to complete the assignment. Our next question, upon which we would like you to reflect, is how do values and principles relate to leadership? Share your thoughts on question six of your makeup sheet. Next, I'm going to share you a series of pictures. Some of these photos are of famous world leaders who believe so strongly in a particular value or principle that they change the course of history by standing up for it. However, some of these leaders failed in the end because they ignored a particular value or principle that his or her society held dear to their hearts. As you see these pictures, try and identify what they believed in before the answer is revealed. Record your thoughts and the given answers on numbers 7 through 12 on your makeup sheet. The given answers are only one or two of the possible correct answers, as all of these people and situations had several values and principles at stake. Okay, first up. For what did Gandhi take a stand? What values and principles was he trying to teach to those around him? If you need time to think about this, hit pause. How about Martin Luther King Jr.? Dr. King took a stand for justice, optimism, maybe you said equality, respect. There are several answers here that would have been good. On the flip side, where did President Richard Nixon fall short? What value or principle did he forget or ignore, which ultimately led to his resignation? What did Winston Churchill, the great leader of Britain, stand for as he led his country to victory in World War II? Where did Napoleon fall short, which ultimately led to his demise? Another good answer here may be modesty. Finally, what was it that Mother Teresa held so dear? Our point is that as you study great leaders throughout history, you will come to understand that they held a firm belief system and had a firm understanding of what is right and wrong. So, our question to you as you develop as a young leader, what do you believe? At this time, complete the rest of your values identification sheet, choosing the five principles and values that you think are the most important ones 
and explaining your reasoning. To complete today's webinar, ensure that you place the values identification sheet and the makeup webinar sheet in your binder. Also, be sure to complete the values identification reflection sheet which can also be found on the Northview Leadership Academy website on your documents page. Be sure to mark your calendars for our next leadership lunch and future meetings for your grade level. This concludes today's webinar. Thank you for watching. Go Cats!